Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we don't have alcohol here. We have a box. I guess you could say this is an unboxing. So, long story short, we got a package in the mail over the weekend, you know, during all the holidays and stuff like that. And um, it's from Bon Hayes. And if you guys know, we talked about Bon Hayes more than once. Mm -hmm. They are our artisanal math cow. Yes, our favorite math cow. Mm -hmm. Um, I know I've used a, I used them in a lot of drinks that I've made, and if I'm being honest with you, a lot of those have been my some of my favorite creations. Yes, and uh, so they sent us something we don't know what's in here. We're going to open it, and we're going to find out at the same time that you guys find out. Mm -hmm. So let's let's get into it. Um, let's see what we got. All right, Lord. Damn. Let's see. I see stuff in here. Yeah, I see stuff in here too. I actually see is another <laughs> like it's like one of those Christmas gifts where it's like is it, is it a bike? No, it's something else and a smaller box. <laughs> so we gotta open this now. Look at that. Oh wow. Okay, so we have a couple of t-shirts here. Oh wow. This is a Bahe's t-shirt, Mezcal. Co-op owned Mezcal from the villagers of Ehutla. I think I said that right. Can you guys see that? This is awesome. I can use more. Yeah, I can use it. And it's a medium, so it's gonna fit uh, me good. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> they do our size. <laughs> and we have this right here. I think this is some meth cow. 40 per. This is Bonhead meth cow. Is this another? Is Donna Pacheco nine eighteen? This is so. This is this must be one of their batches. Yeah, one of their current batches. You guys can see that. I don't know if you can if you can read that, but oh wow! Want to want to take? Yes, I did. <laughs> Give me one minute, I'm gonna get some glasses. All right. And while you get some glasses, I'm gonna put my shirt on. <laughs> I'm using the glasses that we got from Whiskey Festival 2018. I remember that day. Ugly as as best as I can. I don't know how we got home that day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say, uh Okay, so we're going to Ooh. That's mass count. <laughs> that's fresh. Forty per forty per seven percent. I wonder if that's alcohol by volume. Let us, let us know, guys. Let me, let me just get a random bottle and see for myself mm -hmm. of something. Yeah, we, that would be alcohol by volume. Do we have a Bon Hayes? Do we have a bottle of Bon Hayes? It's all the way over there. You, you can get it. <laughs> <It's fine>. oh. <laughs> you can get it. Dick okay. 
this is the bottom. Okay. That. Okay, 42%. This yeah. is 47%. Yeah, so stronger, yeah. stronger yeah. stuff. Yeah, this is, this, is, this, this is the good stuff. Do we dare? You know what? I'm not, we're, we're just going to drink this. And <laughs> yeah, we're we're going to test this and flip on this and see what we got. smoky flavor mm -hmm. that I like with mass cow mm -hmm. specifically with, with bond heads is there mm -hmm. there's also a I guess the best way to describe it is a brightness mm -hmm. and this was this was from not from 918 so September 18th mm -hmm. so I'm guessing that's when this batch that's when this batch was completed. Nice. So we're probably some of the first people outside of slight sweeter tone. Mm -hmm. I like this. I That's like where this. that brightness is coming from. Mm -hmm. This a this will merge well, very well with um in cocktails. I'm particularly thinking about. <laughs> I'm particularly thinking about the margaritas mm -hmm. to come out come out of this. But also, you know, so one of the things I like to do when I um try to come up with new top cocktails, mm -hmm. I try to so I'll look at a base, I'll look at like a your a basic cocktail or whatever. Mm -hmm. And try to veer away from that recipe as much as possible. Mm -hmm. The margarita is one of those cocktails where those simple ingredients, mm -hmm. like perfection. Mm -hmm. And then depending on how you twist it slightly, what spirit you use, like you can vary it differently not even that not even by doing much mm -hmm. replacing tequila with mezcal in a margarita mm -hmm. is one of those things but like if i'm making a cocktail mm -hmm. i just don't want to do a, a margarita variation mm -hmm. so can you bring that bottle that um, Bonnet's bottle back over here mm -hmm. cause we've like I said we've made several cocktails with Bonnet's on the show before I, the most recent one and I forgot the name but it was my it was one of my favorites mm -hmm. it was a recent cocktail we did it uh, we had I know it's made with heavy cream I cannot think of the name of this yeah. cocktail right now we'll link that video mm -hmm. but the reason I bring it up is because while we featured it several times mm -hmm. we never like featured it featured it yeah we've always just put it in like, cocktail like bond has wasn't a bond has wasn't like a bottle that we taste that we taste tested gave it a score mm -hmm. and then did a um Mm -hmm. review did a, a cocktail around mm -hmm. it was more like it was more like we wanted to do a it was one of those episodes where we wanted to do a new cocktail mm -hmm. and we decided we need a mass cow for it and Bonheads was that mass cow because we had had it previously to doing this show mm -hmm. yeah we we had we had tasted it and been um we have been drinking it casually in our life before mm -hmm. we started the show. And then we just kept making cocktails with it. Mm -hmm. Like you'll know a good you'll know a good spirit when you want to continuously experiment with it. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're on the creative side of things. Mm -hmm. Like of course if you like something you're gonna keep drinking it because that's gonna be like your A1 day one when it comes to like your favorite beverage or whatever. Mm -hmm. But for a creative, a mixologist, someone that works with alcohol and mm -hmm. everything like that mm -hmm. 
when you find a spirit that you like, mm -hmm. a spirit that has potential, you're gonna want to do a lot of experimentation with it to see how you can bring the best of that product mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, like in particular, especially with uh, agave, agave based alcohol, um, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, but agave-based alcohol has become really popular mm -hmm. lately. Like, you can go into the liquor store and see a lot of tequilas. In a, if you go into a liquor store and their tequila section and their mezcal section is really low, they don't fuck with tequila. And the reason why yes. I say that is because you're to in a in a liquor store that's worth this weight, the the tequila Te slash agave section, the whiskey section, and exactly maybe the vodka sections will be your three biggest sections outside of wine. Yeah, and and I'll I'll go as far as to say um, a lot of liquor stores worth their weight. Their their agave their agave section because I consider I'll you know put all of that under agave compete with their bourbon whiskey section mm -hmm. for as much for, for for as far as having a lot of stuff mm -hmm. like I can say that wholeheartedly mm -hmm. um and in particular with agave sections like you're seeing lately. A lot of highly priced tequila and yeah, and, like, and um, mezcal. I know I put up a, I posted on Instagram a, like a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. One of our excursions at a liquor store, mm -hmm. and there was a mezcal there, and I can't think of the name of the mezcal, mm -hmm. but needless to say, it was one hundred and thirty dollars. It had a. Uh, some type of cat on mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what type of yeah, maybe yeah, a jaguar like a or panther. Or, yeah, a panther or something like that. And I said something along the lines of this for 130 plus dollars, the cat on this bottle better be like my uh, like my cat. <laughs> it better come to life and like be my cat. Mm -hmm. But I bring all that up to say, like, the the tequila and mezcal and agave in general, that market is real competitive. Mm -hmm. You can tell by looking at the products in the store. In the history behind, like, what it's been through, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And and a lot of these, and a lot of these, a lot of the really good ones, especially the ones, especially the, a lot of the ones that we've been featuring lately, Bon Hayes included. They're coming out of Mexico. They're coming from these. Um, they're coming from these people that are putting a lot of energy into what they're making, mm -hmm. and they're putting a lot of um, ingenuity into it. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason the reason why I bring up bring up the fact that we never had Bon Hayes on here is because we've never read the bottle. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and you guys know I read bottles all the time. Mm -hmm. But every time we've had Bon Hayes, it's you know we're putting it in our drink. Mm -hmm. But Bon Hayes got a lot of uh, there's a lot there. The lore is thick with Bon Hayes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna read this bottle. It says, in the heart of Oaxaca, the Bonhaze village families have been crafting this rich, smoky spirit for generations. In traditional ways, unchanged by the passage of time, this mezcal was made from 100% agave using only the best that the seasonal harvest has to offer. Mezcal enlivens the spirit, bringing us Bonhaze or bliss in the ancient, um... Zapotec language, of course, like all bliss, Bon Hayes is meant to be savored and especially shared. Mm -hmm. So Bon Hayes, if I'm if I'm getting this correct, um, in in the Zapotec language means bliss, mm -hmm. and 
that's just the front of the bottle. <laughs> and 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 when you when you, when you see this, like Bon Hayes, it means bliss. It means when it means that this is to be. First of all, they said on the bottle it is to be savored mm -hmm. and, and shared, and and it is to be and it is to be uh, consumed in a manner that one that 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 brings out positivity, or you drink it, or you drink it in in um in times of positivity, celebration, happiness, things like that, mm -hmm. and like that that speaks to me. Mm -hmm. On the, I know like one of the cocktails I like to make with this, mm -hmm. and this is like going off of existing cocktails already instead of stuff that I made up. Mm -hmm. I like I I like the when I don't want to do a regular old fashioned, mm -hmm. I like to do the Oaxaca old fashioned. Mm -hmm. I use this mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. cocktail. Yeah. Um, on the back. It says Co-op Owned Mezcal from Farmers of Oaxaca, the 36 families of Union de Pro Productores Agro. Oh my God, God, I can't read. <laughs> At Agro Picuria del Distrito de a Utila, a Utila de, de Crespo, Crespo come oh, together okay. to grow, harvest, distill, and bottle Bonhaze Mezcal in the Central Valley of Oaxaca. 36 families. Mm -hmm. This is, if that doesn't say family business, I don't know if, what if does. that doesn't say lore <laughs> to your spirit, I don't know what does. Our Mezcal is made sustainably with the belief that strong land and community is better for all today and tomorrow. And guys, like, they got, like, they got like pictures and stuff. They got a map on the back. Like the lore is strong with Bon Hayes. Like and and that's that's kind of like that's the thing about spirits, and it's one of the reasons why we like drinking and exploring different spirits from different and we've talked about this before. We talked we talked about this a month ago. I mentioned this a month ago, like when you when you when you get when you drink spirits and, and explore spirits from different lands, from different people, from different cultures, and you get the background where how this was made and where it comes from, what and and particularly what it means to the people that originally produced the product. And you and you get a lot of different knowledge of walks of life. We mentioned this before. Even in even in America, di from different people from different parts of the country, like like you you I don't want to say you get to know people, but you get for a brief moment drinking someone's product like this, you get a sense of. Their, you get a sense of their experience. Yeah, their experience, and you and you and you get the satisfaction, and you and you're you are consuming the culmination of that culture's hard work. Mm -hmm. Whether it be from Atlanta or Mexico mm -hmm. or anywhere across the world. Exactly. Um, and you know, Bon Hayes isn't the first. You know, we've had other people in the past on here who's given us product and and who, who's given us product or sent us product that we've tasted, you know, because we were fans of their product. Bon Hayes isn't the first. We hope they aren't the last. And we we genuinely thank you because, like I said, we enjoy you guys' product. Mm -hmm. And this won't be the last time Bon Hayes will be on this channel. Yeah. Definitely not. When I have an idea mm -hmm. and it calls for meth count. Mm -hmm. And I need that specific taste. I will all. I will go to buy it. Right. And you know, even though we're probably, even though we're gonna send you guys a, a, a DM or whatever thanking you, mm -hmm. we also want to thank you on camera and thank you in person. Exactly. You, you guys didn't have to do this, and but you, but you did anyway. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And with that said and done, that'll do it for this episode of Drink. Oh, pause. Let's rate this. 
I'm gonna give it a nine because there, there was a, a ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> it was alcohol in the mail. <laughs> how, how, do you not, how does that not fair. go? How does that not go below a ten? Yeah, that that's fair. No, you know, it's not every day you get alcohol in the mail. Exactly. That, like that, it, automatically, that's a ten. Like. Okay. <laughs> well, with that said and done, that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content coming to the channel. Also, check us out on Instagram, check us out on Facebook, and check us out on Twitter. And if you would like to follow in Bond has his footsteps and send us liquor in the mail, please do. Hit mm -hmm. us up in our DM. Mm -hmm. Like liquor, beer, wine, uh, other spirits. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we like food too. Mm -hmm. food, but, food is also great. Yeah, I, I mean, I know you can't like send a pizza in the mail. But I mean, like at least tell us where the pizza is. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe <laughs> promise to cook the pizza if we come to this location. Exactly. And just, you know, don't, you know, rob them afterwards. Exactly. I mean, right. I'll get the pizza, but like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Te technically, if you give us the pizza first and then rob us, did you rob us or did we pay, pay for, for a pizza? pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but that comes to our second part, you know. Tell us where to go for this stuff. Okay, if you're watching this, that means it's Wednesday, mm -hmm. and tomorrow we will be on our way to Vegas. So, this is your Vegas people. It's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. Tell us where to go. Exactly. Bon Hayes understood the assignment. So, <laughs> it's your time. <laughs> Let us know where we need to go, what the hangouts are, where we need to drink at. Mm -hmm. And if you are a bartender, like y'all gotta come it, with y'all, y'all, y'all hit us up, up, hit us up, let us know to come over there and be prepared. I, I'm, you know, like I'm. We'll be walking around with cameras. Exactly. Like you better. I don't know what bartenders and mixologists do to like get to work out and get in shape, but like get get your bartender skills in shape. We're, we're coming through Vegas. We're coming through. But that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. And until next time, everybody. Peace.